Hey everybody, this is Russell from Inside VR. Today I'm making a video to help explain how you can make sure that all of your Revit geometry is visible when you upload your model to Resolve. I get a lot of questions about this uh, because a lot of folks are publishing their Revit models to BIM 360, but when they publish their Revit models to BIM 360, they're only publishing the discipline model that they're that they're working on. So if you're an architect, you're publishing just the architecture. If you're a structural, you're publishing just the structural. Um, and now we need to make sure that your whole model is published to BIM 360 in order for you to see everything when you open it up in VR in Resolve. Um, and it's pretty simple, so I'll just go over what you gotta do here. Um, now, when you publish your model to BIM 360, by default, it's going to publish your default 3D view. Um, you can also have it publish other 3D views, and that's what we'll do here. Um, now, the key thing to remember, the key thing at the crux of all of this, is that whatever is visible in Revit is what's going to be visible in BIM 360 is what's going to be visible in Resolve. So if you want to see your whole model in Resolve, you have to see your whole model in Revit. Um, and now that's pretty straightforward. Um, the main things you got to remember here is to make sure you have all of your models linked in. So if you go to the manage section of Revit here uh, and then go to manage links, you'll see which linked models are loaded into your Revit model. Obviously, if you need to make all the um, links visible or all the geometry visible, you need to have all of the models linked in that you want to see. So if you need structural, have structural, HVAC, and so on. Just make sure they're loaded in here. Uh, next up is just making sure that the geometry is visible here in the screen. Um, and there are lots and lots of different ways that Revit allows you to filter your uh, what's visible on your screen here. Um, I'm just going to go over one of them, which is over here in the visibility graphics settings of your 3D view. Uh, if you click edit, uh, it will bring up uh, you know a list of different categories that you can sort by visibility. Um, here it shows that um, all structural, mechanical, electrical, and piping seems to be hidden. Um, so if I want to unhide these, I'll select all and then click one of these and click apply and OK. And what's going to go on here is it's going to unhide all of the structural MEP and HVAC. And it should become visible here in just a moment. Give us a second. OK, perfect. So now we have all the geometry visible here in the scene, not just the architectural model. Um, and remember, this is the 3D modeling view that we're looking at over here. Now, in order to add this 3D modeling view to BIM 360, you have to add it to what's called your publish set. Uh, and you can find your publish set over here in the publish settings. Um, this will be available to you if you're using BIM 360 and if your model is um, either work shared or collaborated. And that should have already been set up for you if your project is using BIM 360. Um, so we'll go over here to the publish settings. Uh, and you see here uh, we have something that says set one. Now I'm just for the sake of uh, argument here, I'm going to just create a new set called BIM 360. Uh, resolve. We'll create that. Um, and now it's showing us a list of all of our 3D views. You can sort these. We can just say 3D views in this model. And that gives me a shorter list here. And now I want to select the 3D modeling view. You can add other views to this uh, BIM 360 published set as well. Make sure you also select the set that you want to add this view to and then click save and close. Now, when you go to publish your model to BIM 360, it will ask you which uh, set you want to publish. Just make sure to publish the set with the resolve view. Um, that will upload your model to BIM 360. Um, and then when you link your model from BIM 360 to resolve, it will contain all the geometry in that view. Uh, if you want to go over anything that I discussed in this video, just reach out to support at insightvr.com or reach out to your dedicated customer success, success manager, uh, and we can help you on a case-by-case -case basis here. Um, this was just a really brief overview to show you how you can get all of your geometry from Revit into BIM 360 and then into um, Resolve. So that's pretty much it. This is Russell from Insight VR. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.